So today we will begin with the chapter rounding of numbers. Rounding of numbers is a chapter which is very fun to learn and there are some basic concepts that if you will learn that it will be very easy. So the first thing to remember in this lesson in this topic is that there are two sets of numbers. So weak numbers and strong numbers. Weak numbers includes 1, 2, 3 and 4 whereas strong numbers includes 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 4 weak numbers and 5 strong numbers. So this is the main concept which you have to learn for rounding of numbers and if you are okay with this then this chapter will be very easy. So keeping this aside we will move on to one example which will help you understand the concept. So we will write weak and strong here for reference 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So we will take a very small example for example there is a number 56. And we want to round it off to nearest tens. So the first thing you have to keep in mind is the place value. We have studied about place value that is ones, tens, hundred, thousand and so on. So when it comes to nearest tens that is this we will see what number is there in ones. So 56 is the number nearest tens ones and tens so we have to see which number is there in ones place ones place has got six and we can see here that six is a strong number so the first thing we have to see whether in ones place the number is strong or weak if it is strong number the number just to its left that is five will be added with one and then the number itself will become zero so the answer will be 60. So we have just taken one example that was 56. Now we will take one more example but this time we will divide it into two halves so that it is easy to understand. This time we will take 67 and here we will take 24. And here for reference we will write weak and strong. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Let's begin. So when we are converting, when we are rounding it off to nearest tens, I have told you when we are uh, talking about nearest tens, then we will see what is there in the ones place. So nearest tens means we will see what is in the ones place. Here in ones place it is 7 and here it is 4. 7 is a strong number. Whereas 4 is a weak number when the number is strong the number just before it it will be added with one and this number itself will become zero so the rounding of will be 70 but here because four is a weak number nothing will be added here but this number will become zero so the rounding of will be 20 understood if there is a strong number one will be added to the left hand side number if it's a weak number, nothing will be added. But the number itself will become 0. Not only this number, in case there are 3 or 4 numbers more, all the numbers on the right hand side will become 0. I'll give you one example. Let's take a big number. 276 and 236. This time... we will be rounding it off to nearest hundreds. So when we are talking about place value ones, tens, hundreds and thousand. So here we are talking about nearest hundreds. So we will see what is there in the tens place. Here in tens place we have 3 and here we have 7. 7 is a strong number whereas 3 is a weak number. 
because 7 is strong the number just to the left will be added with 1 that means it will become 3 and rest all the numbers will become 0 so the rounding off will be 300 here because 3 is a weak number nothing will be added here so this number will remain same but these numbers anyhow will become 0 so the rounding off will be 200